I'm going to take a chalk and put it between these two tires, six inches, six inches, or have to use these tires. It doesn't matter. I will come up front, sir. I will come inside. I will take the keys, put them in my pocket. I will come forward. I will unlock the hood on both ends. Point and talk. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please back up. I will point to the clearance lights on the tractor, the clearance lights on the trailer, the three ID lights. I will point to the turn signals and four-way flash. Those lights are not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. They are amber in color. These are my highlights, the headlights. These are my high beams. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. They're clear in color. And there is no signs of condensation which would indicate a moisture leak. I will bend down and look underneath for COPS, cooling oil or power steering fluid. I see no leaks. I will open up the hood. Nice and gentle on my dress. I will walk back here to the exhaust. I will point to the exhaust like this. Sir, this oh. is my exhaust. Oh, it's not cracked or broken. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The U-clamps are in place. There is no excessive soup, which would indicate an exhaust leak. I will follow my exhaust all the way over here to these hoses. These hoses are rubber. They're not cut, cracked, dry rotted, or bulgy. I see or hit no leaks. This is the alternator. It's not cracked or broken. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is built driven. The wire is not cut, cracked, dry rotted. There is no exposed wires which would indicate electrical damage. This is the belt. It's not cut, cracked, or dry rotted. The tension on the belt should be no more than one half of an inch. As we demonstrated before, everything is left to right, top to bottom, inside out. Here we go. Coolant reservoir. It's not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Sight glass filled the proper levels. Anything with fluid inside, I see no leaks. Bam! Oil dipstick, oil fill tube. It's not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no leaks. Sir, I will open up the dipstick, check for levels. If need be, open the field to fill it and recheck for proper levels. Bam! My water pump. It's not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is built driven. And I see no leak. Behind these colored lines is my air compressor. It's located in that vicinity. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is gear driven. I hear no leaks. I have my power steering reservoir. It's not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It has a sight glass. I can see that it's filled to proper level. Because there's fluid in there, I'm gonna verify that I see no leaks. My power steering hose is not cut, cracked, dry rot, or bulging. And I see no leaks. Under here, in this facility, is the power steering pump. It's not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is gear driven. I see no leaks. Now I'm going to the suspension system. These spring mounts on both ends and those U bolts right there. They're not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. My leaf or leaf spring. It's not cracked or broken. Missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is properly aligned. No more than one fourth of leaf missing will place this vehicle out of service. Last but not least, I have a shock absorber. It's not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no leaks. Now, I'm going to go to the steering assembly. I have a steering rod, a steering box, a pitman arm, a drag link, and a steering knuckle. All five pieces are metal. You tell the examiner it's not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. On the steering rod, you have joints and sockets. 
it's not overly warm, properly lubricated. On the steering box, you have fluid inside. I see no leaks. On the drag leak itself, you have a castle nut and a cotter pin. They are intact on both ends of the drag. Last but least, my air system coming up to the tires. First thing we're gonna point to is the brake holes. It's not cut, crack, dry rod or bulging. I hear no leaks. It is attached to the brake chamber and locking ring. It's not cracked, bent or broken. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I hear no leaks. That in turn is connected to the push rod, slack adjuster, and two cotter pins. They're not cracked, bent or broken. They're not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. They sit on a 90 degree angle. With the brakes released, I should be able to pull that rod no more than one inch. That in turn is connected to my brake lining. Brake lining has no excessive wear, no oil or grease. That in turn is connected to the drum. It's not cracked or broken, no wells other than factory, no oil or grease. I have my tires here. Should have no uneven wear. On these steer tires, the tread depth should be no less than four thirty seconds of an inch. These are the side walls. They're not cut, cracked, dry run or bulging. The rim is not cracked or broken, no wells other than factory. The lugness and stud not cracked or broken, there is no running rust, which will indicate a loose or missing lug nut or stud. Then we have a hook or seal. It's not cracked or broken. It's not missing nuts, bolts, and screws. I see no leak. I will tell the examiner, I will open up the cap, put my pinky to check for levels. Last but not least, I have my valve stem. It's not cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, and screws. The cap is in place. I will use that location with a tire gauge and I will fill this tire with 100 pounds of pressure with a tire gauge. From here, I will open up the door handle. I'm going to verify that the door handle works properly and all my hinges are not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The rubber seal is not cut or dry rotted and it is intact. I will take my key, put it in here, and I'm going to verify that the window indeed goes up and down. It is a safety issue. It is working properly, sir, and it is clean and clear. It is not cracked or broken. Take the key out. I will close the door. I will point to the mirror mount on the door and on the hood. It's not cracked or broken, neither is it missing nuts, bolts, and screws. The mirror itself is clean and clear. It's not cracked or broken. Moving right along. Storage compartment. Inside the storage compartment, there are three reflector triangles, three fuses and or circuit breakers, and there is a fire extinguisher, fully charged, fully rated, up to date, and secure. Here I have my death tank, diesel exhaust fluid. It's not track run or broken, not missing nuts, plus the screws, the cap is secure, I see no leaks. On my diesel tank itself, there was no holes in it. It's not cracked or broken. There's straps here, have no missing nuts, bolts, or screws. There is no shiny metal along the sides of the strap, which will indicate a loose or shifting tank. The cap is secure, and I see no leaks. Over here, I have my air hoses, and I have my electrical line. The air hoses at this location is not cracked or broken, that missing nuts, bolts, or screws, I hear no leaks. These lines here are rubber. They're not cut, cracked, or dry rotted. I hear no leaks. This is the electrical box on the tractor side. It's not cracked or broken, neither is it missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Also, at the same time, the electrical wire is not cut, cracked, dry rotted, or frayed. There is no exposed wires which would indicate electrical damage. Here, we have the tractor frame, we have the cross member, and we have what they call the torsion bar. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The frame has no holes or wells other than factory. We have the we have the steps and the catwalk. All the steps and the catwalk are not cracked or broken. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws, and they're clear of debris. We have the drive shaft. It's not broken. It's not cracked. It's not twisted or hanging. And the U joint right here is not cracked or broken. Missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Here on the tractor side here, I'll bring it out right now. They have what they call glad hands that's connected up to those connections there. The glad hands on that cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. 
and the rubber grommet is not cut, cracked, or dry rotted or missing. From here, I'm going to discuss the suspension system, air system, coupling, or fifth wheel system. First, we'll start with the suspension system. We have the leaf spring mount and the two U-bolts. They're not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. We have the leaf itself. It's not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is properly aligned. No more than one fourth of leaf missing will place this vehicle out of service. I have a shock absorber. It's not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no leak. I will come here and tell the example. I have an airbag and an airbag mount. The airbag mount is not cracked, bent, or broken. Nor is it missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The airbag has air inside that rubber, so it's not cut, cracked, or dry rotted, and I hear no leaks. That is your suspension system. To the air system, we have the air hose or brake hose. It's rubber, it's not cut, cracked, or dry rotted. I hear no leaks. In turn, it goes down here to these big items called the brake chambers and locking rings. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I hear no leaks. In turn, it is connected to a slack adjuster push rod and a counter pin. The difference is that up there is upside, is right side up. This here is upside down. It's the same mechanism, it's just reversed the way the engineers designed it. The verbiage on the slack adjuster push rod and counter pin, they're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. They sit at a 90 degree angle with the brakes released. We shouldn't be able to pull that rod no more than one inch. That in turn is connected to the brake drum or the correction brake lining. Brake lining has no excessive wear, no oil grease. The brake drum is not cracked or broken. No weld other than fracture. No oil or grease. From there, we have the tire. The tires have no uneven wear. They tread death on diesel. The drive tires is no less than two thirty seconds of an inch. These tires are properly spaced or butted, and there is no deep grease. The side walls on these tires are not cut, cracked, dry rot, or bulging. The rim is not cracked or broken. No wells other than factory. The lug nuts and studs are not cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. There is no running rust, which will indicate a loose or missing lug nut or stud. Then we have, they call it an axle oil You have the hub, axle, hub. The axle oil seal. Metal, it's not cracked or broken. Neither is the missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no leaks. Here we have the valve stem. The valve stem is not cracked or broken. Neither is the missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The cap is in place at that location. I will fill this tire with 100 pounds of pressure with a tire gauge. From here, gentlemen, we will go to the fifth wheel or the coupling system. We're going to identify the four pieces right here and the last two right there. You will come here because the trailer is going to be over top. You will tell example that the fifth wheel or skid plate is not properly broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is properly greased. The apron that's going to sit on top has not is not cracked, been or broken, and there is no space between the apron and the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel release arm and safety latch is not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It would normally be in the locked position. Here, inside of this location is the locking pins. Gentlemen, please pay attention. You will lose points if you don't say it correctly. The locking pins have a purpose. First of all, it's in the lock position in these grooves. You have to tell the examiner it's in the lock position. Number two, it is locked so that, excuse me, sir, the frame back here will clear the landing gear in turn. You have to say it like that. The frame, because this is locked in the position, the frame is such that it will clear the landing gear in turns. Okay? Last but not least, number four, you have what they call a platform. A platform, everything sits on the frame. This is the platform. The platform is not cracked or broken, no wells other than the factory, and the mounting bolts are in place. That's four. Five and six is right here. You're going to stand here, the trailer's going to be over top. You're going to point in that direction, say, sir, in that area is my locking jaws. They're not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. They're going to be locked around the shank of the kingpin and not the head. Last but not least, kingpin. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Now we have what they call tail lights. 
tail lights are not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bursts, or screws. They are red in color. The whites are reversed, not cracked or broken, missing bust, nuts, bursts, or screws. And the reverse lights are amber or clear in color. Here we have what they call a splash card and a mud flat. It's not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bursts, or screws. Firmly attached to the vehicle. Here we have what they call a trailer face and a header board. It's not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws, or rivets. There are no holes about any elements to come in and destroy the frame. Here we talked about earlier the glad hands, they're connected. This is the electrical box that's firmly attached to the trailer side. This is the side of the trailer. Is that cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, or rivets? No holes to allow any element to come in to destroy the frame. We have a DOT tape, conspicuous tape, technically it's what's called. It's not cut, crack, dry rot, or peeling, and it runs the full length of the trailer. Under here, we have an undercurrent. We have a cross nippers, we have the floor, and we have the frame. It's not cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Nothing is missing. There's no holes in our elements to come in to destroy the frame. From here, we have what they call the landing gear. Fly across the landing gear. It's not cracked in a broken metal. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The feet is in the normally raised position. There is no debris on the feet, and the crate handle will be in the stone position. Cruising four way flash. Single light. Is that cracked in a broken? Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Amber in color. ABS light. That's not going to broken. Not missing enough brush of truth. Amber in color. This here, here, gentlemen, is what they call a marker light. Is that not going to broken? Not missing enough brush of screw. It is red in color. I'll start with the holes and then I do the suspension and eventually I get to the uh, tandem release on The holes right here is part of your brake hose. It'll go all the way over to that brake chamber. You tell the examiner the brake hose is not cut, cracked, or dry rotted, I hear no leaks. It goes in turn to that brake chamber and locking ring. It's not cracked, been a broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws, I hear no leaks. Gentlemen, follow what I'm gonna tell you. When you're gonna talk about the rest of this brake and air system and tires, you stay here and you point at this brake chamber for the rest of the verbiage. Because behind that brake chamber locking ring, he is not going to expect you to go underneath the trailer. You're just going to point and talk. It's basically what this pre-trip is about. Pointing and talk. Behind that brake chamber and locking ring is my slack adjuster push rod and cotton. It's not cracked, been or broken. It's not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It sits on a 90 degree angle. And with the brakes released, we should be able to pull that rod no more than one inch. In turn, that's connected to the brake lining. It has no excessive wear, no oil, or grease. The brake drum is not cracked or broken, no wells other than the factory, no oil or grease. Then you have your tires. There is no uneven wear. The track depth on these tandem tires is no less than two, three seconds of an inch. These tires are properly spaced and butted, and there is no debris. These sidewalls are not cut, cut, dry, run, or bolted. These rims are not cracked or broken, no well other than the factory door. The lumpness is still not cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. There is no running rust which will indicate a loose or missing lug nut or stud. Then we have the hub oil seal. That crack the rubber, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I see no loose. Last but not least, the valve stem. It's not cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. The cap is in place. At that location, I'll fill this tire up with 100 pounds of pressure with a tire gauge. Next, we have our suspension system. We have the leaf spring mount and the u bolts it's not tractor broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. We have the leaf. It's not tractor broken, missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is properly aligned. No more than one fourth of the leaf missing will place this vehicle out of service. Also, we have what they call a torsion bar right here. The torsion bar is not cracked or broken, nor is it missing nuts, bolts, or screws. Last but not least, we have what they call a tandem lease arm. Gentlemen, technically, it's right here, but because of the fact that it's defective, it's not in this place, but you have to tell the examiner. The tandem leaf arm is not cracked and broken, it's secure, and the locking pins are in the lock position. Here we come back here. 
This is the must plan. It's not cracked or broken, missing nuts, bolts, and screws firmly attached to the vehicle. And in the DMV, you're not going to have a rolling door. You're going to have regular doors to open, but you still have to give them the purpose. Start with the lights. The ID lights, the clearance lights, these here lights are four way flashes, brakes, and turn signals. All lights are clean and clear, not broken, not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. They are red in color. Normally when the doors are here, you have the door hinges and the door handles. They're not cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bust or screws. They're secured to the, to the door. Then you have door stays or door ties that allow the door to be opened up and secured on the side. You have to tell the examiner that the door ties are secure. Last but not least, you have what they call a DOT bumper. It's not cracked or broken, not missing nuts, bust or screws, no wealth other than the factory. And the DOT tape, once the full length of the bumper is not cut, Crack, try right on You tell the, gentleman, the examiner at this point, sir, with your permission, I will identify this side of the trailer as I have done this side. 99% of the time, he will have you go to the front, put the hood down, beat him in the cab, he's gonna go up here and beat you inside. And at that time, you will commence to actually doing the in cab inspection. Are there any questions? Will I make myself clear? Thank you very much. Now, you're going inside here.